morning friends today we are going to discuss about construction and the working principle of induction motor as we know that induction motors play a major role in various commercial domestic and agriculture various industrial purpose because that in general motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy so how it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy so generally we know that based on faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction that is whenever a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field it experiences a mechanical force this basic principle is applicable in any type of motor either the motor may be dc motor or ac motor now we are going to discuss the construction of ac motor single phase ac motor so as we know that ac motors are two types so three phase induction motor and single phase induction motor okay so however the working is same so later we will discuss uh, the clearly so in detail working of three phase induction motor now we are going to discuss construction working principle of single phase induction motor mainly the single phase induction motor consisting of uh, two parts so these are the disassembled parts of uh, single phase induction motor so this is the stator stator so stator is a stationary part okay. so there is no rotating parts in the stator okay. the second one is rotor rotor it is a rotating part okay. with the help of bearings it is a, it rotates between the stator okay. uh, yes now construction of stator so the stator consisting of stator frame so this is a stator frame or yoke so it is made it is made with a cast iron so it, it its function is to hold the inner parts and provide housing for the inner parts it act it provide a magnetic path for the stator magnetic flux okay. so that uh, over the in, in the stator uh, frame there is a stator core is there stator core so this is the stator core this is the stator core okay so it is a laminated structure of silicon steel laminations so like this so its inner periphery having the slots inner periphery having the slots to place the stator winding in the slots now the laminated uh, the size of the lamination depending upon the frequency of operating frequency so here the thickness is 0.35 mm for 50 hertz operation 0.25 mm for 25 hertz operation 25 hertz operation now in the stator there are two windings are placed in the single phase induction motor stator that is one is the main winding the second one is starting winding so single phase induction motor is actually not a self starting because the pulsating magnetic field produced by the stator so because only the only one way, one magnetic field is there however the another magnetic field is created at the time of starting by the starting winding and the capacitor and the capacitor are connected in series now this starting winding produces the another flux and the main winding produces the one more flux now the interaction between the two fluxes creates the rmf rotating magnetic field that rotating magnetic field drive or uh, moves over the stationary rotor so now whenever that uh, magnetic field cut by the rotor here it the rotor is a spiral case rotor whenever the magnetic field cut by the rotor and emf induced in the rotor it produces the another magnetic field now this magnetic field try to catches the stator magnetic field that is rmf this ro mag rotor magnetic field try to catch the stator magnetic field okay but it never catches that uh, magnetic field so always uh, the stator magnetic field moves uh, at a synchronous speed and rotor try to rotor magnetic field try to attract uh, uh, that magnetic field so this process is continuous in this way the motor rotates uh, in the direction of uh, rmf in the direction of rmf but the speed of the rotor less than the synchronous speed that's why this motor is also called as asynchronous motor now how this uh, starting winding disconnected from uh, during running time so there is a one centrifugal switch is there in the rotor the centrifugal switch is there so this uh, centrifugal switch whenever this uh, whenever this rotor rotates at a speed of near up to 80% of its rated speed automatically due to the centrifugal forces act on this uh, act on this mechanism 
so that uh, starting winding is disconnected from disconnected from the supply so then during the running this motor runs on only main winding runs on main winding only so during the running time this capacitor helps to improve the power factor of that uh, mission power factor of the mission De definitely as a power factor is a better definitely the losses in the mission are less thereby that mission efficiency increases and its lifetime increases okay the per unit cost and energy consumed by this mission as also decreases for the same work okay. so this is the construction of stator then coming to its rotor this rotor is a spiral case rotor actually this there is a skewed slots skewed rotor slots that means these slots are not parallel with the shaft they make some angle with the shaft because to avoid the magnetic noise and to avoid the magnetic locking between stator and rotor okay. that's why these are skewed rotor <coughs> slots so the inside so this is inside this one there is a copper bars are placed in the slots of a, a rotor the, this is the squirrel case squirrel case means this the this copper bars are short circuited through the end rings on both sides it forms a closed path itself forms closed path itself now all this structure is mounted on the shaft so for the better cooling purpose of this winding and uh, for the mission one uh, light weight aluminium fan is mounted on the same shaft okay. so this rotor is uh, arranged in the stator with the help of uh, bearings and with the help of bearings and the end caps so these are the end caps these are the end caps so there is a bearing bearing in the end cap Okay. Now this rotor is arranged in the stator with the help of bearings on both sides. Okay. So then the terminals are brought onto the terminal box on the uh, frame. On the frame. So this is the construction of and the working of a single phase induction motor. Okay. So there are different types of single phase induction motor. So here it is a capacitor starter single phase induction motor. So in that uh, there are different types of uh, single phase induction motor, capacitor start and capacitor start and run, yeah. shaded pole. So different uh, types are there. Uh, later we will discuss uh, remaining uh, uh, missions.